Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn about the theory of asymmetric information. Asymmetric information or information failure occurs when one party in the transaction has higher information than the other party involved and thus the party with higher information can exploit the situation to its advantage. This imbalance of information results in market inefficiency, causing goods and services to be sold or purchased at a price different than their fair price. It could either be the seller or the buyer who can possess more information in the transaction. Let us look at some examples. In case of selling a used car, the seller of a used car has more information about the history and condition of the car. In this situation, the seller can exploit the information imbalance to his advantage and sell the car at a higher than its fair price. In case of buying health insurance, the buyer has more information about his lifestyle and behavior patterns. The buyer could possibly lie or hide about his reckless behavior and create an information imbalance in order to take advantage of the insurance seller. Such information asymmetry creates inefficiencies in the market. However, information imbalance is not always a bad thing. In the transaction between a doctor and a patient, the doctor has more information about medical science, whereas the patient who is an investment professional has more information about investing. Thus, they both can exchange their own information superiority with the other party to create net benefits for both the parties involved. Division of labor in the society results in increased productivity for the overall society. Thus, not all information imbalance is bad for the economy. I hope this video helped you. Thank you.